Hello everyone, my name is Richard Stevenson, aka Richie Stevens, and I'm here today to address some allegations that you might see going around about me. Initially, I said I wasn't going to say anything, but now I think I owe it to my family, to my friends, and to my fans to come out and set the record straight. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true. But I am here to tell you what is true. One, she was on tour with me in Australia in 2019. Two, she made a formal report to the police against me. Three, she did a rape kit. But what she did not tell you a thorough investigation was done by the Australian police. I was detained. They took a statement from me, a statement from her, a statement from other people, and there were cameras in the vicinity. While I was detained, I called my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, who advised me on what to do. And at the end of that investigation, they found her allegations were simply baseless. You know what is true? I'm really sorry for her to know that she would go that far to try and get some recognition. We're living in a time where people are doing certain things. We see it every day. Some people believe that likes are far more important than the truth. And we're here today to bring the truth out. Check this out. She claimed that I came back to Jamaica and run on to the media and give them fabricated stories. I have not done that even one interview. I have not posted a video about the incident. I didn't do nothing like that. The only thing happened is my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, wrote a letter that I posted on my IG. That's all I did. Now this is in contrast to what she has done. You have to remember this now, people. This woman is a professional video editor. And if you take a keen look at her video, you see the sheet behind her. You see she talk in a certain type of way. This is nothing but a stage performance, a whole stage production. No, you don't need to stage the truth. All right, people, let's take a look at something where she say. She said in her country, I would be guilty until proven innocent, which is not even true. But that tells you how warped her mind is. She also took the time to invite the media to link her personally. Clearly, she had a boss. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she even tried to make it seem as if she didn't get justice in Australia. Australia is one of the most serious countries in the world when it comes to sex crimes. Now, I am a very serious supporter of bringing sexual predators to justice. But her allegations are simply not true. There are people with serious issues as a result of sex crimes. So when people like her come with all these lies, it does not help the movement. I am Richard Stevens, and that's my piece.